Ah yes, yo yo chicken bros, what's up, Chill man smile here, coming at you with a brand new video. And today I want to talk about the uh, friendly atheist again, I know I am already made one video on him and I tend not to dwell on somebody, but this was a video my sister brought to my attention and that's why we did a collab there, solely because she wanted me to make the video and so I watched that video and my inconsistent my end statement was basically that I am going to stand for the flag. I will. Out of respect for those who have died. But I don't care what you want to do. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I am a firm believer. You can believe what you want to believe as long as you don't force it upon anyone else. That is how I see it. So he was kind of saying you shouldn't stand for the flag. Very preachy about it. And I made statements against him, you know, I made my argument, but this video was directed at basically me, in a way, but not in a way. So before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell, make a ding. If you are watching for the first time, I am so glad that you have came here. It means a lot to me. Maybe uh, check out my Discord and become an official chicken bro there. We do a lot of stuff every day. Um, we talk most of the time. But I do try to make polls just to see what y'all guys think about things, um, see what kind of videos I should make, things like that. So with that being said, let's get into this video. So if you don't know, I am a Mississippian, um, and we do have a bunch of crosses outside on the roads and all that. And I am Christian as well, but I am not going to let that bias me in this area. Because I know I could state a bunch of Bible scripture and all that. But for the sake of this argument, I'm going to go at it from more or less a point of view of a non-Christian who never really saw it. And yes, in both areas, even as a Christian, I agree that the money could have been put, been put to better use for such a thing than big crosses. What it is is a guy raising a bunch of money. He's a businessmen raising a bunch of money getting excess money and then using that money to build a cross now may i ask how many people do you know that are that determined in such a more di more or less diverse community not as diverse as other places but still diverse how many people do you know with differing ideas that would all agree on that and go and build it up I don't know many people that would. Um, I'm just saying that shows dedication above all else and uh, loving for each other in our own community in a way. But uh, what I want to put out there to this guy is that what he stated, the way he stated it, I can agree that the crosses could have been put to better use. I'm not saying that what he said was 100% wrong. It was the delivery of how he stated it that caused a lot of uncomfort in me as a human being. Um, he was basically insulting in a way. And I get it. I try not to be insulting. Some people don't care. And I mean, this guy, he seems to have some really bad thing with Christians. Like, they've given them a bad rep or something. Like I said before, he does all kinds of why the Bible verse is wrong or stupid or evil or this or that. And it really feels like he doesn't like Christians and he wants them to go burn in a fire. Um, so that's that. But he stated that Mississippi is one of the lowest in smarts in the United States. Um, I suppose we do have a bit of a low uh, grade score average. However, I must ask you, uh, sir, the kids here, I have met, I have been in school and just graduated last year, actually. You can say what you want, but let me say this. Almost all of those students, not all of them, you always have those certain few were hardworking individuals trying their hardest to make do with the information we were given. We were working our butts off. And for you to state that my class was the dumbest out of everyone in America 
even if it be true, in a video, mind you, about nothing more than the crosses on the road are stupid, feels like a direct insult. Um, I am not mad about this, FYI. <laughs> I don't get mad easy. I am just explaining to this man the fact that he calls himself a friendly atheist, but what he's saying really, really, his demeanor of it is not good. And he's going to pee some people off, and he really shouldn't. So, what? not only that, he made a few other points that really got on me. Um, he basically said that there is too much Jesus in Mississippi, things like that, and I mean... Really, I don't see that. Um, we do have a few not-so-good places here. We have some okay size of town. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, no, we don't have too much Jesus. In fact, we have a lot of strife and issues here that we all deal with. Everywhere around the world. And if by Jesus you mean the idea of Jesus or the religion of Jesus, then if it's the idea of Jesus, which is that he basically died for our sins, but that's not what I'm meaning in this particular argument. I'm meaning doing the things that he did, which is charity, being there for the poor, helping out those who need it. Then I don't think in that area in particular, I don't think in that area that we can ever have enough of that Jesus. Now, there are, there is also the fact that, well, he died on the cross for our sins, and I understand this can make some people uncomfortable to talk about. This guy just, he's being a bit of a not-so-good way of stating what he is stating, and it needs to be a bit different. Um, yes, I get not everybody is Christian. I get that. I understand that you don't have to agree with what we think, or what we do but that doesn't mean you go around and basically berate everything that we believe in for the sake of your own self um i don't know what somebody did to you i don't know if it was anything in general i mean at the end of the day what does this gain you i, I guess it gains you money and a uh, partial fame on youtube so yeah there is that um but I'm just stating here, sir, you need to figure out a way to word it that is not as rude as you have done and not as very pinpointed as you did. And yes, I have seen your video on Pastor Greg Locke. I do not agree with his fanaticism bullcrap. I don't agree with any of that. Um... But you did state in that video, and I'll link this down below as well, that you wanted him to get even more letters and cause even more of a ruckus and more of a problem, sir. Not only that, but you stated you would not pay for a cross to be built, but you would for a satanic cross right next to it that's bigger. That's just causing problems. I mean, even if... You are not Christian. What is the point in that? You're just... You seem like you want to be better. And I... It makes no sense to me. I mean... If you are trying to prove everybody wrong... Then just give the scientific facts... Whatever facts you have... Or opinions you have... Or any counter-argument... Rather than say... Make a cross upside down and say that mine is bigger than yours, therefore you are wrong. Or, this man is getting letters from abortion clinics. Um, that was Pastor Greg Locke that was getting thank you notes from it. Well, why would you... That's like saying hate mail. That's like me doing a stream and saying, hey, go on some two-subscriber streamer and say this or that. Just berate this man for it. And I don't care how bad of a person Greg Locke could be or how hateful you are towards him. No person really needs that kind of problem in their life. Um, I wouldn't put that upon many people. So, yes, although I agree Greg Locke has his issues, 
I also want to state we don't need to cause more of a problem. We need to be mature about what we say and what we do. I get it. You you don't believe in Christianity, but that's all I wanted to state, sir. This was more of a letter to you. Um but if you never see this, I'm sure you won't. It's fine. I'm just stating please Maybe be a bit more considerate in a way because you're going to uh, pee off the wrong person. And as somebody who believes everybody deserves a chance or, a, you know, something, I just wanted to give you that, just, you know, just to be a bit of a, hey man, you might want to chill out a bit with the uh, wording and what you're stating because it may end up hurting you in the long run. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. You have been an amazing help for me. Um, each and every one of you make my day all the more better. I love checking in on y'all guys on Discord. I love everything that y'all do for me. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. I am not certain what that will be yet, but hey, it is what it is. And if you want to join my... Uh, I got I to gotta remember to say this in every video. Um... I am current. I currently have Discord detectives who help me find stories. I have listed them above, and if you want to join them, just go onto my Discord and apply. Um, there is no real benefits other than a detective channel and a higher rank, I guess you could say. Slash, you have a different color to your Discord um thing, so those are the perks that come with it. Um, yeah. So if y'all guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Everything means so much to me. Um, comment if you want to how you thought of this video. And I will state this again because I stated it in the last video, but it wasn't very well viewed. Um, I was wanting to see, because I don't want to seem like I'm chasing the clout. And Nikocado Avocado has had a bit of videos on him. So it would seem like I would want to for the clicks. But I do have a lot of notes on him in particular and what I think about him. So I wanted to ask you guys, do you want me to make a video on him? And if you comment below a big yes, if I get enough of those, I will most definitely do it. So with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.